What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Bought this Cresimo 101 ounce stainless steel vacuum air pot. It's a carafe, a dispenser. You've probably seen these things in your company lunchroom at uh, an airport, uh, a cafeteria, a hotel, whatever. Uh, you know, it's a it's a craft. You fill it with coffee. You can fill it with other drinks, and it's. Uh, pressurized when you pump it it dispenses your drink now you know generally I've seen them for coffee I've used these a lot and one of the things that I wanted to do was get one of these because invariably when you have people over uh, someone wants a cup of coffee usually it's like oh I'll have a cup I'll have a cup so you make a, a small pot of coffee and then someone's like oh you know I'll have a cup too and you know you're kind of making a coffee the whole party but uh, what I think uh, is a better strategy is to have something like this, brew a bunch of coffee, put it in here, keep it hot, the whole party, and let people help themselves. And the 101 ounces, which I think is what, close to three liters, you know, means that it's going to last for a long time. You're not going to be making coffee throughout the event, and uh, people can just grab as much or as little as they want, whenever they want. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Cresimo stainless steel vacuum air pot. So I'm brewing some coffee and here's the dispenser. Now one thing I want to show you is that I noticed when I picked it up by the handle, this handle is out. And there's kind of two lobes, a fat and a skinny lobe that allow this to go in there. And so what ended up happening is that this wasn't installed correctly at the factory, I think, because the point is once it's in there, it should never come out because you can't remove this piece of the dispenser out. And so you actually can't get the handle lined up correctly to fit in there again. So what I think is it was kind of partially installed or maybe only like this. And uh, you know, when I, I just noticed it now and this is out. So quality control issue there, but just keep in mind, you know, it's not a big deal. It doesn't affect the functionality, but if you are going to carry this around, you know, I'm a little disappointed that it's broken. And uh, unfortunately I'm going to use it. So I don't have time to, you know, send it back to replace it. Now, the other thing that you'll notice is it's pretty big. And that's why I got this one is it's pretty large stainless steel outside. It looks very nice. Uh, we've got a plastic and a bird's head like top here that opens up like this. And then you have kind of the the uh, pipe mechanism here. I, I noticed that there's a silicon gasket at the, the bottom, a stainless steel um, tube. You can see where when you press the cap down, the air enters here and forces the coffee up through the tube and then out this little dispenser. And so that's how the sucker works. And as you can see, the air gets forced in there. Now, if we look down there, you can just see it's just like a big thermos coffee you know should stay pretty hot cold drink should stay pretty cold and it's all like a pl plastic polymer now this um the uh the hose dispenser part and you can see a little silicon gasket there to make sure that the air it works by air pressure you put that in there nice tight fit and then uh the coffee will be dispensed there this is where the pump is going to insert air you can see here there's another little silicone gasket which is going to seal around that so when i push it shut here these little two buttons are what release it push it shut it's going to lock and then you lift up this cap and this little tab falls into place to close it up you just push that tab back up but when it's up here um, now this uh, rotating tab is going to push on the pumper so if i pump like this you can feel the resistance there I can even hear the air coming out of the nozzle. You know, that's what's going to dispense coffee. So you're going to want to do that nice and slow. Another thing that I noticed that's pretty cool is that it's on a swivel base. So you can turn it without having to pick it up and move it around, especially if you're kind of navigating around food or if it's on the edge of the table. Um, pretty cool. Swivel base included. Uh, so now the next thing we have to do is I'm going to lift this up so that I can open this back up. Take this out, put in some coffee, and we'll try it out. Now my boy Jay Crispy gave me some great advice and that's to heat up some water and pour it into the carafe and then empty it out so that when you pour in the coffee, the carafe doesn't cool off the coffee. All right, so since the handle was broken, I just went ahead and broke off the other end. And now I actually have cleaned out the pot uh, because as you saw, it worked fine. And because it's all just stainless steel inside, except for this top part, and there's no way to remove it as far as I can tell, a little silicone gasket in there, uh, you just really dump it out and rinse it out as far as I can tell, and then you just let it dry out. So uh, it's just as simple as... Uh a rinse and a dry. So pretty impressed with this little thing. Obviously the problem there, but it's not critical to the function of it. And overall, I mean, it's uh, pretty inexpensive, but the big three liter size, I think is really great for having coffee available for your peoples. So I'll put a link to it in the description. Check it out. Peter Von Panda out.